Hi there, good afternoon. This is the lovely town of Gerne, also called Kerenia, the Greek name, on the Mediterranean Sea, here in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. So, Northern Cyprus is a disputed country that is only recognized as an independent country by one other nation, and that is Turkey, directly across the sea to the north there. Internationally, it is considered to be part of the Republic of Cyprus. In other words, the entirety of the island of Cyprus being one country, but there is the green line, it is called, a demilitarized zone that uh, cuts through the middle of the island, roughly, going from west to east, which is about a 30-minute uh, drive south of here. And as a result, you have basically the southern Greek part of Cyprus and the northern Turkish part of Cyprus. So here we have the very impressive Kyrenia Castle built by the Venetians in the 1500s. So the Venetians ruled here for a time. The Ottomans ruled here, or the Turks, but it was founded after the Trojan Wars in, you know, 1000 BC or 1300 BC, something like that. So the history here is really, really intense. Many, many different empires have ruled over this land. The British, the Romans, the Greeks. And so in 1974, Turkey invaded the northern part of Cyprus and as a result, the uh, Green Line became the border between the north and the south, and Greeks who lived here fled to the south, and uh, it became a primarily Turkish, Muslim country region, which is still in limbo as far as its status. So you can see people uh, going across the walkway there. The plan is to go inside the castle there, looking forward to it. But there is some water in the way, so I have to walk all the way around, which is kind of the point, is to uh, show more of the town in the process. This whole area, the harbor, is being reconstructed. You can see dump truck right there. And so I will have to kind of get back into the lanes there, which I showed a little bit of in the last video, and in the process, uh, show more of the town, talk more about the history, give you a uh, bit of an idea what it is really like here in this little-known disputed place, which, as you can see, is pretty peaceful and relaxing. A very nice uh, town and harbor here on the sea. You can go for boat tours. A guy there was just uh, trying to sell me a boat tour. There is tourism here and a lot to see in the country in general outside of town here. The various towns and the mountains you can see there. Very spectacular. So uh, the plan for tomorrow will be to uh, rent a car and go see more of the TNRC, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. Okay, let's uh, get back into the uh, lanes of the old town here. Looks like this must be one of the day tripping boats. Look at that, it has a water slide. Pretty cool. Pirate ship style. I did one of these uh, pirate ship boat tours in Turkey a few years ago. Really fun. So I wanted to get a closer look at this, uh, I guess it's a church here. 
This looks very, very old. Or is it more of a fort? There's a uh, slip there. But uh, this is where it's basically closed off for construction. So. Not sure if I can actually go inside there. Okay, maybe just this far. Okay, looks like it's locked. So, uh, I'm sure that this area will be really amazing once it is all completed. Okay, let's uh, get back into the old town. So I wanted to mention that uh, today is August 25th. It is 93 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 34 degrees Celsius. It is hot. Fortunately, some nice breezes coming off of the uh, Mediterranean there, but uh, it is some serious summer weather, especially middle of the afternoon. Another one of these boxing machines. You uh, put coins in it, two lira. I wonder if that's still accurate because that is really, really cheap. The uh, Turkish lira has been getting more and more devalued. There are 25 in a dollar, so that is like four cents. But when you put the coin in, then this thing drops down and you try to hit it as hard as you can. So a couple of uh, facts about uh, Northern Cyprus here. They drive on the left side of the road. Of course, in Turkey, they drive on the right, but because it was controlled by the British around the time the automobiles were... Uh, starting to be used, then they drive on the left on uh, both sides of Cyprus. They use the Turkish lira here. Language is, of course, Turkish. Religion is Muslim. So it is quite quiet at the moment, but as is generally the case in this part of the world, then uh, things are quiet in the afternoons and get busier in the evenings. Yesterday evening was uh, quite busy here, kids playing, etc. I have the hotel there for one more night tonight, and then we'll rent the car, as I mentioned, and drive somewhere else. Not sure where else. Probably just rent the car and then uh, get cruising and see where I end up. So this is one of the uh, main tourist streets. Some nice hotels. My hotel is right up here. A church that I believe was built in the 1800s. There is my hotel right there. That is the balcony that I showed and the rooftop. So I just realized that today is a Friday, the Muslim holy day. So that is another reason why it is especially quiet. So I am going to retrace my steps a little bit here from the last video. because I wanted to clarify something as well as show some other places. 
Tower and the Walled City. The walls of Karenia were built from stone obtained from local quarries east of the Karenia Castle. The town defenses consisted of a walled enclosure with at least eight or more space towers, including a gate with two gate towers. Only three of the round towers survive today as marked on the plan. These towers were guarded by a small military detachment day and night to watch land and see where it approaches and raise the alarm in the event of an imminent threat, which was very real, especially through the Crusader period, and then of course the Ottomans, etc. So here you have the remains of one of those towers. And so I believe that this then would have been built by the Venetians. So as I walk through the uh, old city here, I'm going to read a bit more from the Wikipedia page, which will repeat a bit of what I said, but then add some more context. The city was built by the Greeks, named Achaeans, from the Peloponnese after the Trojan War, 1300 BC. According to Greek mythology, Karenia was founded by the Achaeans Cepheus and Pataxandrus, who ended up there after the Trojan War. As the town grew prosperous, the Romans established the foundations of its castle in the first century AD. Karenia grew in importance after the ninth century due to the safety offered by the castle and played a pivotal role under the Lusignuan rule as the city never capitulated. The castle has been most recently modified by the Venetians in the 15th century, but the city surrendered to the Ottoman Empire in 1571. So I said 1500s, but it was 15th century, but that was just a modification. And so there has been a uh, castle structure of some sort there for a very long time. And so I'm walking over to the castle now the city's population was almost equally divided between Muslims and Christians in 1831 with a slight Muslim majority. However, with the advent of British rule, many Turkish Cypriots fled to Anatolia, or modern-day Turkey, and the town came to be predominantly inhabited by Greek Cypriots. While the city suffered little intercommunal violence, its Greek Cypriot inhabitants, numbering around 2,650, fled or were forcefully displaced in the wake of the Turkish invasion in 1974. Currently, the city is populated by Turkish Cypriots, mainland Turkish settlers, and British expats. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> This has uh, changed. So, if you happen to see the last video, I stumbled upon this church, had no idea what it was. I referred to it as probably Greek, but I believe that it is actually a Venetian-built church. And the oldest church in Karenia, I was looking online, but it has been cleaned up and altered since I was here just two days ago, and it's been turned into a bar. Looks like they're getting ready for like a party or something. Hello. Hello. I can just look inside? Okay. I'm just, just looking. Okay, thank you. Interesting. So, uh, these beams were referenced in the uh, Wikipedia page for the church here. So yeah, this is definitely the one that is the oldest church in Kyrenia, built by the Venetians in like around 1500, like same time period as when the castle was renovated, I guess. Thank you. Okay, so uh, that was certainly interesting. 
I guess there's gonna be a party tonight. So, point being, with all that history, this area has been, you know, changing hands every, you know, once in a while. And most likely will change hands again sometime in the future, but who knows for how long. And so we have a mosque here that looks quite old. Kirenia Palace. So the Turkish flag on the right, the mostly red with white, and then Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus flag on the left, the uh, white with the red. Here we have a very nice uh, restaurant in a great location, especially once the harbor area is completed. It will have an amazing view. And here is the entrance to the castle. 50 Turkish Lira, two dollars. And here we go, into the castle. Truly an architectural wonder. Okay, little uh, Byzantine chapel. So there is another phase of the history. Built in the 12th century. And so, of course, the Byzantines were another phase of uh, essentially the Roman Empire after the fall of Rome, then the capital moved to Constantinople, and wow, oh man, it's really remarkable. And the uh, Byzantines, who were mostly Greeks, Christians, lived in a large, large area all through Turkey and even the Middle East, as I showed in previous videos, in uh, Palestine and Israel and Jordan. So the style of this church definitely looks quite similar to that other church. With the bar inside it. Wow, just uh, really exquisite. Like, fairly simple, but uh, impressive style. 
Okay, does this go somewhere? Huh. Let's find out. It does go somewhere. So what's the deal with this? Was this added later? Certainly looks that way, like this was a, you know, external tower, and then perhaps this was added later as additional defense, since it's just a wall. Okay, and where is this going? Oh man, this is just absolutely fascinating, okay. That was just a uh, little loop there. And then another room here, very, very dark, quite small, must be associated with the church. Perhaps a chapel next to the church, or maybe, you know, where the priest would live or something? Just amazing to see so many different phases of history here. Okay, which way to go? Again, Turkish flag, TRNC. So everything about this reminds me so much of Crete, Hania, and uh, Heraklion, because it was also Venetian territory with very impressive structures, castle, huge walls, churches, etc., built by the Venetians. So there is where I started the video.
So here you can see that sure enough they're laying down a nice pedestrian harbor walkway area. Whenever this is completed it is going to be really really nice I'm sure and revitalize this city. So I am hot, I am sweaty, I am thirsty, I am hungry. I am going to head back to my hotel. They have a really nice restaurant. Take a seat, get some food. Hello. And relax for the afternoon. More coming from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. See ya.